Oh boy. Привет, привет, Шурик. Я очень мон... We'll get going here in a sec. What is going on? If I get a, I should, I was thinking maybe I, I'll play one of those anytime that I get gifted five gift subs or more. I could, that, I could that's play a good something. reward. Just like play one of the, <laughs> I'm going to make a whole bunch of different ones. So <laughs> maybe even some custom ones. Like if someone donates enough. It yeah. Can be yeah. Like... I can just pull it up on the fly. Mm hmm. Just uh, do a thing and <laughs> I want to I'm going to wait until there's more people here. I, I bought something that's going to make the stream a lot more fun. <laughs> At least I think so. It's going to be different. It's going to be terrific. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I got in the stream and I was like, wow, it's terrific. The best stream. sure it's queued up the right way <clears throat> someone sub well I, yeah i'll wait until i get a sub and then, then i'll play the uh if someone subscribes joe biden is gonna thank you for your subscription всем <laughs> привет A fox in space. What a show. <laughs> it's the wrong one. <laughs> My fellow Americans. Thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscrib, scrib, you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? What's he doing out there? <laughs> we got to bring, bring him back to Earth because because that's where he lives, Jack. And that's what we got to do for every fox in America. We gotta, gotta bring him back to the film focus of the backdoor chicken camp. <laughs> That's what Corn Pop said. And when Corn Pop's in the cockpit, you porn cock to, you can't, you can't pop the, the, the you, you, you know the thing, man. A fox in space. What a show. The best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob 64, he does his little beep, beep, boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. The rest of the gang, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Cornaria great again. Andros, have you heard of this guy, Andros? 
What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Corneria. Corneria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. fan up because it is getting warm down here it's getting bananas down there <laughs> uh. Oh, we just got raided by Orbity. Do you know Orbity? I know him personally. He's a great guy. This is only the first stream. <laughs> My fellow Americans, thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscribe, subscribing. You, you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. Wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? What's he doing out there? there. We gotta bring, bring him back to Earth, cause, cause that's where he lives, Jack. And that's what we gotta do for every fox in America. We gotta, gotta bring him back to the Excellent. film focus of the backdoor chicken camp. <laughs> that's what Corn Pop said. And when Corn Pop's in the cockpit, you porn cock to, you can't, you can't pop the, the, the you, you, you know the thing, man. Fox in space, what a show. <laughs> the best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob64, he does his little beep beep boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. The rest of the gang, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight. 
making Cornaria great again. Andros, have you heard of this guy, Andros? What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Cornaria. Cornaria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. I assume you can hear me and it doesn't sound any different. A uh, uh, little bit of a delay. Let's see. Can I just do it on the fly? That's a wise Excellent. decision. I see Holy Fire 96 has also decided to subscribe. Very smart, very smart choice. Did that go through? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh... Not everybody can subscribe to this new stream. Excited. There we go. <laughs> Let me see if I can turn that up a little bit. Oh, it's already at a hundred level. Okay, no problem. What a strange name for attendance of the Twitch chat. Very. <laughs> oh, George W. Bush. Let's see how he sounds. This is your former Excellent. president, George W. Bush. <laughs> oh, it seems we've got some gift subs from Blue Hill. Rallinus, males 43, an unusual bug, 01. I just wanted to make one announcement. Nachos rule. <laughs> My fellow Americans, thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscribe, scrip, you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. Wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? What's he doing out there? We gotta bring him back to Earth, cause, cause that's where he lives, Jack. 
And that's what we got to do for every fox in America. We got to got to bring him back to the film focus of the backdoor chicken camp. That's what Corn Pop said. And when Corn Pop's in the cockpit, you porn cock to you can't you can't pop the did, did you, you 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 know the thing, man? <laughs> I love it when you get a new toy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> the trouble, though. A fox in space. What a show. <laughs> the best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob 64, he does a zoo, beep, beep, boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. The rest of the gang, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Cornelia great again. Andros, have you heard of this guy, Andros? What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Corneria. Corneria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> a fox in space. What a show. My thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscrib, scrib, you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. Wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? What's he doing out there? <laughs> we gotta bring, bring him back to Earth, cause, cause that's where he lives, Jack. And that's what we gotta do for every fox in America. <laughs> we gotta, gotta bring him back to the film focus of the backdoor chicken camp. <laughs> that's what Corn Pop said. <laughs> <laughs> and when Corn Pop's in the cockpit, you porn cock to, you can't, you can't pop the, did, did you, 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 you know the thing, man. I do want to, I haven't really tried the Obama one yet. <laughs> but, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, special message for all the Cornarians out there listening tonight. I couldn't say where she's coming from, but I just met a lady named Dynamo Um. She strolled on over and said, look here, bum. I bet a $40 bill that says you can't make me come. So I grabbed her by the pussy.
I poked and stroked till my wrist got numb. But you know this, you won't believe this, but I still didn't hear no dynamo hum. So sad. Best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob 64, he does his little beep beep boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. The rest of the game, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Corneria great again. Andros, have you heard of this guy, Andros? What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. <laughs> Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Corneria. Corneria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> My Thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscrib, scrip, you know the thing, man. <laughs> it's for a fox in space, man. Wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? What's he doing out there? We gotta bring, bring him back to Earth, cause, cause that's where he lives, Jack. And that's what we gotta do for every fox in America. We gotta, gotta bring him back to the film focus of the backdoor chicken camp. That's what Corn Pop said. And when Corn Pop's in the cockpit, you porn cock to, you can't, you can't pop to, to, to you, you, you know the thing, man. Have Obama read what now? <clears throat> What sub message? I don't. Oh, Stephen, all right. Well, I have to do. I'll try to do Obama's. Uh, let's see. It's come to my attention that Signori15 has just resubscribed to the channel. That's very patriotic of you, it's much appreciated. Yo Fred, Starfield is coming out for the premium edition owners. It's gonna be interesting to see. See you around.
Yeah, take it easy, Orbity. Let me know if you need any more help with your emotes or anything else. <laughs> Did that work? Oh, I think I have to leave it on. Thank you for stopping my. There it goes. <clears throat> Cut out what? Huh? That is the shadows that are moving over wolf here you can just just the subtle reflection of the water so yeah any any subs that i get today i will read the sub messages in donald trump's ai voice or joe biden if otherwise requested Let's see which ones have we got. Okay. okay. Beep, beep, beep. <clears throat> oh, if we got some other ones. Let's see. It's, it's not, not, it's, 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 it's not, not muting my, my, my auxiliary thing.
Yeah, yeah push, push to mute, mute does, does not work. work. I, wonder I wonder if that's, that's a bug. bug. Hmm. Oh, oh, I we can toggle, toggle it. it. Okay, that's, that's fine. fine. That's, that's, that'll, that'll do. That'll, that'll do, do nicely. nicely. I just, I just gotta, gotta make, make it a weird hotkey hot key that I'm never, never gonna, gonna press. press. Uh, right, right bracket. bracket. Yeah, yeah, there we go. go. All, All right. right. Yeah, yeah, hang, hang tight. tight. There we go. Okay, I got it. working right now and blah 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 and I wanted to record something I would go over get to mute myself and go look at that new subscription what a guy thank you so much you terrific yeah, that works. Awesome. Oh, that's 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 great. <laughs> All right. I wish I could get rid of the click noises. So, you can't get rid of the sound effects. Hmm. 
Oh, and it does it off screen, huh? Oh, and it does it off screen, huh? Interesting. I'll have to make it a more complicated shortcut. And what can I do? Control Alt Shift V. No, that that no. It's got to be something weird. Yeah, there we go. Control Alt Shift backslash. So if I, all I got to do is. Did it not do it? Oh. That's weird. Tested now. I bet it works beautifully. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think from now on I'll be able to do do the voices. Let's say. Is there one I didn't read? Laprazat. Laprazat. Let's do that one. Laprazette just resubscribed to Heavenly Choice. It's very beautiful. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> oh, God. Your subscription to a fox in space is much appreciated because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> the Obama one's not as great, but uh, holy shit, the, the Biden and Trump ones are amazing. understand why all these lizard ladies are flying across a water sky like what wh what's the deal with that <laughs> uh, I, I don't understand why all these lizard ladies are flying across a water sky like wh wh what's the deal with that Thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscrib, scrib, you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. A fox in space. What a show. Wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? The best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. What's he doing out there? It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob 64, he does his little beep beep boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. 
the rest of the gang, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. We gotta bring, bring him back to Earth, cause, cause that's where he lives, Jack. And that's what we gotta do for every fox in America. Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Corneria great again. We gotta, gotta bring him back to the film focus of the backdoor chicken camp. That's what Corn Pop said. Andros, have you heard of this guy Andros? What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Corneria. Corneria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> When corn pops in the cockpit, you porn cock to you can't you can't pop the did, did you, you 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 know the thing, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got a good one. It's simple, really. Only I have the brains to rule America. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's a cool thing, like, the closer you can do a voice to the actual person's voice, the better the AI voice will sound. <clears throat> so I just sit here talking just like this, it's so sad. I could, I could say whatever, like, like, uh, let's see. I went to Venom last year. Did you hear about this? Did you see this? It's so bananas. All the monkeys in charge. They're running the zoo. So sad. <laughs> I went to Venom last year. Did you hear about this? Did you see this? It's so bananas. All the monkeys in charge. They're running the zoo. So sad. <laughs> No, it's just literally me talking. I could do it live too. Uh, yeah, let me let me mute. Right now, it's coming out of my mouth and into your ears. Isn't it so crazy? I'll just read the chat. Oh, what? So this is speech to speech, not text to speech? Nice. That's why it was so quick. It's like an AI voice changer, basically. LOL. I'm laughing out loud right now. Ha <laughs> ha. Beep boop bub. Look at the machine go. It's making my beautiful voice come to everyone's ears. Why does it go beep boop bup? And I thought it was just a keyboard. <laughs> yeah, worth it, worth it. It's like 80 bucks for a year. This is a tremendous stream. One of the greatest streams in history. Trust me, I'm here right when I walked in. I said, wow, this is a terrific stream. Really amazing. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, I know this is annoying, Rex. I'll, I'll wear it out soon, I promise. <laughs> I, I am not annoyed. <laughs> I, I just said I love it when you get a new toy. I uh, hear you, yeah. I mean, you can ask Jeff Bezos. He said to me, he said, Fred, you got to stop having such good streams. There won't be any viewers left for the rest of us. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's, let's hear what would happen. This is me talking like Donald Trump, and now I'm going to go. It's going to go beep boop pop. Oh, I'm Donald Trump. Wonder what that's gonna sound like. This is me talking like Donald Trump, and now I'm going to go. It's going to go beep boop pop. Oh, I'm Donny Trump. <laughs> Can you put your phone filter over that, too? Well... Because mm. I thought it would be hilarious if he said what Clawlock said. I'd have to put it into FL Studio, because it's not going through FL. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, like the... Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Corneria great again. Andros, have you heard of this guy Andros? What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Corneria. Corneria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's totally an AI. I can sit here and say anything I want, anytime I please. No one can stop me. It's really a beautiful tool. I can sit here and say anything I want, anytime I please. No one can stop me. It's really a beautiful tool. Changing it to... Uh... Yeah, uh, uh, General Pepper has turned to a new, uh, far stock, fo st Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and, and free the Lilac system. But well, once again, you know the thing, man. Did that take? Yeah. Uh, General Pepper has turned to a new uh, Far Star, for, so Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Cornarian and free a lilac system. Well, once again, you know the thing, man. Jeez. <laughs> There's other voices too, but uh, top quality. There's Obama, another Obama. Hi, my name is Pierre, and I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Hi, my name is Pierre, and Pierre. I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone. That's not, that's not Hillary Clinton. It's just a standard voice of a guy going, this is standard, blah, blah, blah. 
like Patrick Stewart. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Patrick Stewart one. But like this is, I guess this is what Patrick Stewart sounds like with an American accent. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. For optimal results, try doing your best impression. Voice.ai. I could try it. I'll try to do Halo Waters message as Patrick Stewart and see how it sounds. I'm Patrick Stewart. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's hear how it sounds. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. I don't know how close it will be. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. Not too bad, not too bad. This is the Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. I'm doing uh, sit-ups and push-ups with my friend Sylvester Stallone's do it. Put the cookie down. What are you doing? Stop it, you idiot. Let's hear it sounds. This is the Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. I'm doing uh, sit-ups and push-ups with my friend Sylvester Stallone's. Do it. Put the cookie down. What are you Man. doing? Stop it, you idiot. Needs more data. Needs more data. It's not, it's not a very good one. Oh, they've got AOC. Did you hear what the conservatives are saying about AOC, Gordon? <laughs> Sorry, Elmo, I'm completely checked out. <laughs> this is Morgan Freeman. The story of Star Fox began when Wolf O'Donnell beat the hell out of that little boy. Fox <laughs> this is Morgan Freeman. A story of Star Fox began when Wolf O'Donnell beat the hell out of that little boy. This is Morgan Freeman. A story of Star Fox began when Wolf O'Donnell beat the hell out of that little boy. <laughs> and to do frivolous like a cat. <laughs> God. <clears throat> yeah, Vincent Price one would be pretty cool. Walter White one. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. For optimal results, try doing your best impression. Voice. And they've got Rick and Morty. Elon Musk, we're going to build a rocket. And, uh, you know, Mufasa, there's a Mufasa. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. For optimal results, try doing your best impression. They've got an Andrew Tate, David Attenborough. Here we see the young part. Yeah, I might, I might have to try to get that one. F 
Fox McCloud was Morty. Aw, oh, jeez, Wolf. What are we going to do? The reactor's about to explode and my R-Wing won't start up. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh jeez, Wolf, what are we going to do? The reactor's about to explode and my R-Wing made start up. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rick, what are we going to do? What? Oh jeez, Rick, what are we going to do? I don't know, the voice is off. It's partially me. What about Rick Sanchez? No, these are these are these are pretty fun. I need a Ben Shapiro. Wait, Keith David? The entire earth is but a point, and the place of our own habitation but a minute corner of it, said Marcus Aurelius, the Roman Emperor, around 170. <laughs> Way to go, you little idiot! I mean, Fox McCloud, hello, you're supposed to be this genius fighter pilot. Way to go, you little idiot. I mean, Fox McCloud, hello, you're supposed to be this genius fighter pilot. Oh my god. Sorry, I just, I got all this stuff installed today and I've been playing with it non-stop. <laughs> Bill Burr? I wonder if Bill Burr... They need to have his full range, though. I don't know. Yeah, there's a Bill Burr. Not enough ratings. You know, I, I was just joking before. But when did you become such a cock? You've been acting all weird since that trip. Seriously, did you... <laughs> William S. Burroughs? Interesting. This is a standardized audio sample today. Ew, no, that's, that's not him. You know, I, I was just joking before. Let me try it. Try it. I've got enough credits to buy like 50 of these. <laughs> or 500 of them, I think. I don't know. Training the voice. My voices. Oh my god. Let's see. So I was standing in line at Walmart and this friggin' lunatic comes up to me and he says, Hey, Bill, wh why are you, your nuts red? <laughs> Bill, your red nuts. Oh, no, I didn't. I said, Bill, your red nuts. I didn't do it, damn it. So I was standing in line in this fucking Walmart and this fucking lady comes up to me and she says, Bill, what the fuck? Why is your nut hair red? So I was standing and lining this fucking Walmart and this fucking lady comes up to me and she says, Bill, what the fuck? Why is your nut hair red? That's not too bad. It's all right. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Uh, jeez. The, the Trump and the Biden ones are really are the best. Anyhow. They're offering me a bunch of points and 
subscription stuff if I put my voice on there. <clears throat> no, thank you. Donald didn't swallow anything that night. He beat the hell out of all of those boys and made them work for him. And they swallowed quite a plenty. <laughs> but Wolf O'Donnell didn't swallow anything that night. He beat the hell out of all those boys and made them work for him. And they swallowed quite a plenty. <laughs> President George W. Bush, and I just have one announcement to make. Nachos rule, and if you're seniors, you get it on a discount. This is former President George W. Bush, and I just have one announcement to make. Nachos rule, and if you're seniors, you get it on a discount. for an hour now and done nothing but fart around with voice but that's all right thank you kindly for the new subscription to my twitch <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, my brain's fried from writing too many shaders in Blender today. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, my brain's fried from writing too many shaders in Blender today. close to Bill Burr or how about David Attenborough and here we wait. morning initializing voice data please what what is this supposed to mean and here we see the young Fox McCloud searching for his R wing in the snow he'd better be careful there's a wolf about it might eat him alive Homosexually speaking. And here we see the young fox McCloud searching for his Arwing in the snow. He'd better be careful. There's a wolf about. It might eat him alive. Homosexually speaking.
There was what was the <laughs> What does that mean initializing voice data? Aim yes. I don't see why it's so low, but it's whatever, I can figure it out. Yeah, so we will fly into this planet, this, this fucking idiot planet full of dumbass idiots called Cornaria. And then we get there and it's like, oh, friggin' well done, you're on this friggin' stupid planet full of idiots. Yeah, so we will fly into this planet, this this fucking idiot planet full of dumbass idiots called Cornaria. And then we get there and it's like, oh, friggin' well done. You're on this friggin' stupid planet full of idiots. <laughs> the Bill Burr one is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, well. But yeah, if, if anybody subscribes and they want me to say something in one of those voices in the sub message, I'll do it. To, to, to promote uh, interaction, as a feller calls it. My fellow Americans. Yeah, it's 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 queued up. Alan Rickman. Terry Crews. His head looked like a peanut. <laughs> I could do a, an Alan Rickman. What, what would you want Alan Rickman to say? What could Alan Rickman say? I don't know how Alan Rickman is supposed to sound. 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 I'm as anatomically correct as a Kindle. I, Jesus Christ. I am Alan Rickman. At the sound of the tone, turn to page 394. I am Alan Rickman. At the sound of the tone, turn to page 394. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I 
might have these two in the same one. No Rodneys. It has come to my attention that some students have an unconventional interest in werewolves. It has come to my attention that some students have an unconventional interest in werewolves. Wolves? There you go. Werewolves? Some students. Gotcha, got you. Finally. God. Has this thing even, like, landed any bugs yet? Yeah, there's quite a few in there. I shouldn't complain. But I do need to fill that thing up with a little more apple cider vinegar. fruit are you fucking are you fucking serious we don't use words like that in here like they don't don't do that <laughs> one sec frederick fox is the best fruit I have ever had. I mean, met. Oh, God, how embarrassing. Space, what a show! The best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob 64. He does this little beep beep boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. The rest of the game, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. 
Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Corneria great again. Andros, have you heard of this guy Andros? What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Corneria. Corneria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> it blows me away. for when people subscribe so on episode three and the scene after this one when I get that finished that'll be like 10 or 11 minutes done possibly 12 minutes I'm still waiting on the Polish script for the Polish voice actors to be translated there's a lot of Polish and a little bit of Russian in the first act but yeah uh, Bilbo if if you haven't heard if you ain't heard uh episode two came out back in march and uh it's 40 minutes long youtube algorithm didn't pick it up too well but everybody seemed to love it quite a bit i'm thankful Do you think so? in space episode two a fox in space episode two the greatest cartoon ever made seriously i watched it a thousand times i walked in here and i said wow what a beautiful cartoon i've got to watch this at least 999 more times and youtube just went beep beep bop, boop and played it for me really really terrific piece of art Masterpiece. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscrib, scrib, you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. Wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? What's he doing out there? We gotta bring, bring him back to Earth, cause, cause that's where he lives, Jack. And that's what we gotta do for every fox in America. 
We gotta, gotta bring him back to the film focus of the backdoor chicken camp. That's what Corn Pop said. And when Corn Pop's in the cockpit, you porn cock to, you can't, you can't pop the, the did you, 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 you know the thing, man. <laughs> oh wait, of all the voices, of all the voices, I didn't look for Tom Hanks. Oh shit, dude. This is Tom Hanks on here. <laughs> This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. For optimal results, try doing your best impression. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. I don't know if that's the same one. Let's see. I'm going to train it. I'm going to get it and just see if I can. Does it cost extra? No, uh, I have 250,000 tokens and it takes about 5,000 tokens. So I can I can get like 500 of these per year. Which is fine. Like I looked at it, I was like, I'll pay $89 to have this for one year and I'll suck all the juice out of it. Let's see. Initializing voice data. Voice data. All right. Dudesy mugs. You totally forgot to make the splatter batter pancakes. Dudesy mugs. You totally forgot to make the splatter batter pancakes. <laughs> Dudesy mugs, splatter batter, splatter batter, splatter batter, splatter batter. Dudesy mugs, splatter batter, splatter batter, splatter batter, splatter batter. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> Mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. Mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. Mom always said life was like a nightclub bimbo. You never know what you might get. <laughs> Mom always said life was like a nightclub bimbo. You never know what you might get. <laughs> That's actually pretty good, dude. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I really don't want to animate this. Can I pay you to animate this, Rex? This wouldn't be hard. Well, they're going to be talking. So, like, on the last one, if you can just make them go Pac-Man or whatever. Bill, mm -hmm. I usually stream for four to six hours. You know, depending on how tired I get or what, whatever.
I checked in, I got down there, I went in between, and I checked it out, and the pussy was good. <laughs> I checked her, I got down there, I went in between, and I checked it out, and the pussy was good. <laughs> pussy was right. <laughs> Smells like fish, tastes like chicken, plug your nose and keep on licking. Smells like fish, tastes like chicken, plug your nose and keep on licking. Wow, he, he, that's not what I said. Patrick Stewart. Smells like fish, tastes like chicken, plug your nose and keep on licking. Patrick Stewart. Smells like fish, tastes like chicken. Plug your nose and keep on licking. <laughs> I gotta do this. <laughs> Obama. 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 Nah. <laughs> I want to be the very best, like no one ever does. I want to be the very best, like no one ever does. Wow. It that didn't work. I'm former President George W. Bush. <laughs> Smells like fish, tastes like chicken. Plug your nose and keep on licking. <laughs> Nachos rule, but fish tacos reign supreme. I'm former President George W. Bush. <laughs> Smells like fish, tastes like chicken. Plug your nose and keep on licking. <laughs> Nachos rule, but fish tacos reign supreme. <laughs> up sleepy joe you're not having any of my fish tacos <laughs> shut the fuck up sleepy joe you're not having any of my fish tacos <laughs> oh god but yeah um you know what he's doing here yeah i mean the lines are down there his hair makes him look like a girl I don't know what their women look like. They look a bit like that. <laughs> and I've got the first frames of that. And... For Pyotr, I've already got, I think I've already got all of his body stuff done. Yeah, his bo the body's all done. Except for when he laughs here. I mean, that's just... I that's just gonna be a little bit of a, them a wobbling. Like a body giggle. Yeah. yeah, you can just, like, nudge those and... Let's see. Hmm. 
Oh, so they're saying that Starfield is actually really good, huh? IGN gave it a 7. Well, it's just like with Fallout 76, it'll eventually be good. I'm sure I'll, I'll try out Starfield in a year or two. I'm in no hurry, really. That's right, Greg already drew that. I was thinking like, every time I hear Starfield, I just think of like a Garfield starship parody I just, I just think like, hey, we're flying in space. Hope we can find some space. I wonder if there's a Garfield voice. No Garfield. No Garfield. Andrew Garfield, there's five Andrew Garfields. Man, who the fuck is normal? This is a standardized audio sample to dim. Is that normal? Shit. Oh yeah, we have two Andrew Garfields, but no. There's one Garfield, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. It has no ratings. Hey, so uh, what's up? Is it Lorenzo music? Maybe he's lit. No, just Garfield. Come on. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. Nice. I hope that works out for you, Rick. Drake? They got Drake in here? This is a standardized audio sample to... What about Andrew Tate? This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone. Oh, jeez. Who would want to sound like Andrew Tate? That, Such a confusing was that the impression? voice. The, yeah. Kind Sounds of, just like him. Mr. Beast! Hey, Jimmy! Ah, I'm doing the Mr. Beast face. Ah, click on me. Ah. The Donald Trump one is the most fun. <clears throat> like I, I, and that's the thing. I can only do the ones where my voice is close to. Like the better impression I can do of a character, the better that it'll sound. Yeah, what about Arnie? Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice. That doesn't sound like Obi-Wan. This is a standardized audio sample. This is a standardized audio It's literally the exact same. It's disappointing. Yeah, the, the one that I did doesn't even sound like Arnie. Microsoft Sam. There are 33,963 voices that you can use. <clears throat> it's still initializing. 
Hey, what's going on? This is Bill Burr. I'm just checking in on you. So I was walking to the store the other day, and this fucking stupid bitch comes up to me and says, Hey, have you played Star Fox Command? It's the best Star Fox game ever. And I said, No, you're an idiot, because it's the original Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. I, I'm old enough to remember the Super Nintendo, and, and you're dumb. Get the fuck out of my face. Don't listen to my podcast. Get the fuck out of here. My ball hair is red. <laughs> hey, what's going on? This is Bill Burr. I'm just checking in on you. So I was walking to the store the other day and this fucking stupid bitch comes up to me and says, Hey, have you played Star Fox Command? It's the best Star Fox game ever. And I said, no, you're an idiot because it's the original Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. I'm old enough to remember the Super Nintendo and you dumb. Get the fuck out of my face. Don't listen to my podcast. Get the fuck out of here. My ball hair is red. <laughs> it's pretty good that's pretty good but yeah dude if you can animate this part I'll animate Wolf like rubbing his hair and looking embarrassed when he sees that they're laughing at him by the time you get done with that and I get done with Wolf this whole scene will be done and then yeah, I can get on to the final <laughs> scene of the well, not the first act, but this whole this whole arc. Yeah. And when I get that scene done, I will have almost twelve minutes of episode three finished. Now keep in mind that scene is going to be like seven or eight minutes long, but uh, I have a feeling it'll go a bit faster because most of it's just them sitting there talking. So yeah, like that's my goal is by the end of this year to have 12 minutes done. So it's like, hey, I, I took about eight months and got 12 minutes done. That would be nice. I'm not guaranteeing it. That's my goal. If I don't get it, then you're like, oh no, I got eight minutes done in eight months or whatever. I need more water. I'll be right back. He's going to be right back. He's just going to go get some water. Pure, lovely water. It really is the best drink. Trust me, I've had a lot of it. Pretty sure he only drinks Coca-Cola. Doesn't he, like dip steak and ketchup in Coca-Cola. I hear Trump just like blends Coca-Cola steak and ketchup into a, a fine smoothie. I'm not even going to fact check that. I just know that's true. I'm sure that's been done. Mm. Although, as someone who grew up in the Midwest, uh, I'd often go to these, like, 
weird banquets or like school potlucks and almost everyone's grandmother would bring a crock pot full of barbecue sauce and meatballs and or cocktail wieners in there uh but the barbecue sauce was frequently made with grape jelly because my grandma and my mom even made it too and you know it was pretty good you, you wouldn't know it has grape jelly in it Sprite. I mean, that'd be pretty good. I mean, it's basically a Shirley Temple. Dude, if you have like maraschino cherries and Sprite, just pour some of that juice like a a little bit of it into your sprite and that's that's it. it it's so good yeah well that's true Well, if you have Sprite, Grenadine, and Vodka, that's just a, uh, a Judy Garland. I'm kidding. You need to put sleeping pills in that for it to be a Judy Garland. Dude, I think I think my mom and my grandparents knew I was gay because I was obsessed with Shirley Temple movies when I was a little kid. I think I probably had all of them on VHS. I loved all the Shirley Temple. Oh, fuck. You can admit it on stream. It's okay. No, my, my uh, headphone you on hook fell off. Oh, okay. Oh, it always does this. Hold on a second. <laughs> sit on myself
no, no, get dressed in my suit. What was the one? It was like they, they were all in an orphanage or something. Shirley Temple movie. But there was an entire wall of rubber gloves. that dispense oh, different types of milk. Oh, that they were in a bar. Or, or that was like, a bar. There's something like that. There was like sweet milk, sour milk, and everyone had a different cartoon cow that looked like it was, like the sour milk had a cow that was like bleh, and the sweet one had, that had like a cow that was smiling and. Yeah, because it's just all kids and it's a silent one, I think too. <clears throat> and, and uh, and then at the, I don't know if it was silent, but then at the end, there's like a kid and a dog both like drinking milk out of one of the rubber yeah. gloves or something as the circle mm -hmm. goes, Ew! and it's like the end or whatever. Because yeah. one of them is even eating ice cream and Shirley Temple's like the bar performer and drops the ice cream down her back and she does this little jiggle dance. <laughs> I, 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 I mimicked that dance all the time when I was like four yeah, and my mom and my grandma thought it was the cutest thing. My, my I know which mom and grandma. About got me a, a shirt or me and my sister a shirley temple tape with all the the movies and stuff mm -hmm. and uh, little rascals and got little rascals that was an awesome one i haven't seen little rascals in a long time well the, the 90s one <clears throat> anyway i've never seen the original oh i never seen them the opposite What was it? There was one where a guy, a guy, uh, I can't remember what it was, but he had uh, an injury or whatever, and he comes out of the doctor's office, and the doctor's like, now remember, keep your head tilted back at all times, and then he walks out, and he, so he's like looking up. And like everyone in the city, like as he walks by, they're like, what the hell is he looking at? And they're all like following behind him, <laughs> looking up at the sky and like a bad guy gets away or, or something like that. I can't remember. I think that was Little Rascals. And there was one where a kid had a bell to ring it and all the puppies would come by. Uh. Yeah. That's what. Well, I was more like, well, I lost my bell. Yeah. It's from the Our Gang series, which is still, you know, like the Little Rascals under a different name. Yeah. Yeah, God, when, when did that come out? 19, 1930. Yeah, that's what now is he's like, gee, I lost my bell. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is from 1930. It's so crazy watching a 60-year-old movie when I was little. I was... not much going on tonight but yeah sometimes it's just nice to, nice to check in yeah war babies yeah that was that the was one, the one. And in a milk bar that was the one mm -hmm. did you have that one i just war babies yeah 
I, oh I just, yeah. I just Absolutely. think it's cool that you and I both had Shirley Temple movies when mm -hmm. we were like really, really little. My mom was especially obsessed with the movie where uh, Shirley and this other dude were like tap dancing on the stairs. Uh, which one was it? Because I think it was like a Civil War era movie. The Littlest Rebel. That's the one. That had to be yep. it. Yeah. With like the older dude and they're like doing the, the dance to you. Yeah, that was the, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, definitely the... No, or... I'm pretty sure that's it, yeah. Uh... Is it the little colonel? I thought it was the little littlest colonel. rebel. It's definitely one. I'm pretty sure it's the little colonel. Little Colonel Bojangles dance. Yeah, Bojangles. That's the dude. From the Little Colonel. Why, why did I think the Littlest Rebel? Hold on. Yeah. But yeah, like the I, I remember that one. Cause it like the tape we had, it was like three hours of nothing but Shirley Temple movies. Mm-hmm. She died right before I started on episode one. No kidding. In 2014, I did. Like I always thought that she died as a little kid when I was younger, because you know I never saw her in anything older than that. No, I remember at the end of the Shirley Temple tape that we had, it had some thing with her when she was like in her 20s or something. My people were cheering her. It was still in black and white, but he was supposed to play Dorothy in Wizard of Oz understandable yeah Yeah, and Stanislav, he's not even really gonna, it's just really his head's gonna move and still, until he starts yeah. laughing. I gathered. So when he turns back, 
you can just reverse the heads and and it'll be fine yeah So this one will have two people in one file. Jesus, why is this 136 megabytes? Just the grease pencil objects? Mm. Okay, Pyotr's is 33 megabytes, but where's the other 100 coming from? Let's look at the orphan data! This is an interesting thing. Or do you know what orphan data is? Uh, Let's say you, ha you you make a whole bunch of materials, like oh, gre yes. gre grease yeah, pencil mat materials or whatever, and, and they all they're all in things. But then you delete all of the things that use those materials. They have zero users or yeah, owners have or a whatever. Zero next to the name. Yeah, yeah. Like the little shield icon. You ever see that and it's like make fake user or whatever when you click a shield and it's checked that means that even if this item doesn't have any users it will not be considered orphan data because if you make a whole bunch of shaders and shader nodes and materials and you don't use them when you save your file those disappear it deletes them the next time you open them But, like, I had all this orphan data, and I'm saving, 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 it's still there. You have to open a new file or a different file, and then open that file again. 
and then save it again and then it deletes the orphan data yeah so if you have orphan data and you save it's all in there but then you you leave the file you, you flush it out of ram then you open it again and it it removes all of that when it loads and then you have to save it again and then you'll see the file size go down it's really weird that's what i'm working on right now i'm just going through all the orphan data and just deleting everything we gotta rescue the orphan gears man images yeah there Let's see what that does now it's a hundred megabytes if I delete everything and save it it's 21 megabytes okay is it the fucking couch that's... Oh. Yeah, I'll just simplify the couch a little bit. Although that didn't do shit. So where... <coughs> hmm. Well, I'm going to simplify... Well, I don't need to. I mean, it's only 100 megabytes, right? Yeah, that's, that's all right. Not a big deal. Okay, it's 102 megabytes. I delete Piotr. It becomes 75. So he's only 25 megabytes of that 102. I delete Stanislav. Wait, what? So it's 102. I delete Stanislav. It becomes 65. Why is he 30? What is in his thing that's 35 megabytes? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that got rid of some. This is body frames. Even more gotten rid of. All right, five, five, six, six, seven. Okay, so six will be his, these things here. Yeah, this is, uh, the lines on his shirt. for now so the way that he works one is his body and tail two is head three is eyes four is mouth and all that stuff five is his arms six is the lines on his tank top and they are masked like so is this with the new no 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 this is still the old add on one. okay like going forward i will do my new thing but We'll just wait till the scene is wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. Like when Wolf walks in in the next scene, that's it's gonna be different stuff. So that gets us down to 79. Good, good. All right, we're good now. So Pyotr Stanislav. I mean, this is gonna be pretty easy. The most complex thing in this that I want you to focus on is Pyotr, like, doing a gesture with his hand to make it look like he's gesturing about Wolf's dainty hair hanging in front of his mm -hmm. face. And feel free to, to 
do that however you want. Hmm. I accept your cookies website. Have we got any offers? Mm. I feel Wolf's hair is loquacious. Loquacious? Mm hmm. Is, is that a thing? Pretty sure it's a thing. It's very loud, it's very talkative. shrimp dude that would not Popeyes. be a bad idea or some coconut shrimp I do kind of want something with shrimp in it but I don't think I can get anything with shrimp at this hour it's heartbreaking I learned about this Chinese dish called uh, shrimp toast. Shrimp, to a Chinese dish called shrimp toast. Mm hmm. It's like a street food thing. I think it was mm. popularized in London. Uh, and then uh, it just became really popular in China and they kind of made it their own thing. Uh, but yeah, you just like mince up some shrimp with like ginger and garlic and like salt and you know whatever put it on a, like a piece of white bread and then you deep fry it like you don't bread it or anything you just smear it on the bread you deep fry it and then you that's it and then you just eat it and it's like the best thing ever I, I'd be up for that I do like shrimp Greg mm -hmm. doesn't like shrimp but I mean like if we do popcorn or a uh, bang bang shrimp you'll have a couple oh, of those that's good Spicy Thai Bang Bang. I kind of want that too. Mm. Only ever Damn had that at Cheesecake box. Factory. What Bang Bang Shrimp? Mm -hmm. I may have to get some pho. Wonton oh, soup, chicken, chicken dumplings, dumplings, shrimp, and fresh veggies in an Asian broth. Serve with mm. two spring rolls and your choice. Mm. Mm. I might have to. Yeah, instead of. Uh, mm. Yeah, I, I might have to do that. Add extra protein if I want. You can add 10 extra shrimp and it will make the soup $65. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Well, but it's it's 10 servings of shrimp. Like the every serving, every extra like doubling of your shrimp costs $4. So I just clicked it all the way to 10 and it made the oh. soup $65. <laughs> I thought you were saying like six more pieces. I was like, no, I'm like I, I don't know. 
There's like seven or eight pieces of shrimp in there, but no, it's, that's fine. Uh, ginger ale. Ginger ale. Yeah, I'll do a ginger ale. Good stuff. A rock star punched fruit energy drink. What? Why? Two spring rolls. All right. Plum sauce. Can I? Can I? All right. Fuck it. I'm two dollars and fifty cents away from a free delivery fee. Or zero delivery fee. Can I add a beer? No. Extras. Kimchi. I could. I could do with some kimchi, but it's not two fifty two. Yeah, the bang bang shrimp. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. Cause I don't care. But I'm not gonna do the drink and the, the spring rolls if I'm gonna do that. I just want the war wonton soup by itself. And there we go. Free delivery fee, $23. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, that'll work. The prices are reasonable, and then I have to remember to deduct twenty percent, roughly, because it's Canadian prices. Yeah. Yeah, I got some war wonton soup with shrimp in it and some bang bang shrimp on the side. I want shrimp tonight. You have triggered me. I'm sorry. Shrimp, honestly, is the best food. Bang Bang Shrimp, absolutely delicious. I have some Bang Bang Shrimp every day. Ask anyone, trust me, I'm being honest. <laughs> shrimp. All right. Uh, I think this is ready to send to you. Yes, it is. One of the greatest people I've ever met, Joshua Wrigley. Really terrific guy. Trust me, I know him personally. I walked in here, I said, wow, is that Joshua Wrigley? He's got to be the most amazing man on the face of the planet. Fox in Space, what a show. The best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob 64, he does his little beep, beep, boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. The rest of the game, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Corneria great again. Andros, have you heard of this guy, Andros? What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Corneria. Corneria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. 
It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> My fellow Americans, thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscrib, scrib, in, the, y you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. W wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? What's he doing out there? We gotta bring, bring him back to Earth, cause, cause that's where he lives, Jack. And that's what we gotta do for every fox in America. We gotta, gotta bring him back to the film focus of the backdoor chicken camp. That's what Corn Pop said. <laughs> and when Corn Pop's in the cockpit, you porn cock to, you can't, you can't pop to, to, to you, 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 you know the thing, man. It never ends. It never stops. <laughs> Why is Binance taking all of my money? Y'all, y'all, I lost a thousand dollars to BlockFi. This is from two years ago. Two years ago, I, I, I built up a thousand dollars to put in BlockFi and invest. And now I go on there and it's like, your money is gone. You have two dollars left. Uh, yeah, uh, they, that sucked. And I, my plan was to put like 10 or $20,000 in there and I only put like eight or 900 in. So I'm, I'm so thankful. Jesus Christ, I'm so thankful. Yeah, can you imagine me dropping like $10,000 in there and then it just being like gone? Yeah, it was like eight or nine hundred dollars. It got up to two thousand, then it went back to a thousand, and then it was sitting around like seven hundred, and then they went bankrupt and they got to run away with all that money. They got away with it. They got away with it. They went belly up, but they got all of that money. That's what, no, I know people that have a, that had over a hundred thousand dollars in BlockFi that just gone, gone. Like a hundred thousand dollars, just gone. So yeah, I look at my little like eight nine hundred dollars, and it's like mm, okay. So too bad, so sad. I cry a little bit. But yeah, like, like it, it got to the point where I was like, I don't really have the extra money to keep putting in here. So I'm just, I'm going to leave that eight or nine hundred dollars in there and see how it goes. And then two or three years later, Russia stuff happens. And then, so yeah, like, it, and like I said, it was, it was extra, completely disposable money. I, I, I wanted, I, it was an experiment because I'd never really done the, the crypto thing before. So I have like three or four hundred dollars in Bitcoin and Ethereum that a friend of mine, she's staking it for me. And she has it set to only sell if it gets up to a certain price. And that way it will make back the money that I lost, kind of. Yep. Once they start talking about it on the news and on Saturday Night Live, it, it's too late. I never once ever purchased an NFT. Never once. I never made an NFT. I never tried to make an NFT. 
I saw NFTs and I was like, no, this is, no, I'm good on this. Like once you see on Facebook, like, oh, this new thing, you can do it to get money. At that point, it has gone from an exploit to a scam. So, yeah, like, a bit, I, Mr. Hyde sent a message saying, hey, you need to get Ethereum, like, years and years ago. And I looked at that personal message and I was like, ah, it's, ah, it's, it's the scam thing. If I had listened to that and put $1,000 in in uh, Ethereum, I'd, I'd literally have a million dollars right now. Even after everything and the crash and, and Ethereum not being as much as it was, even right now, if I waited until right now, with that $1,000 back when I was told, I would have $1 million to withdraw in cash right now if I had listened. I got the message and I didn't listen to it. Then I didn't have a fucking thousand dollars, but I was like, man, like, even if I had just put like 500 bucks in it, I had 500 bucks, I could have. I'd have 500 something thousand dollars right now. It sucks, but you know, whatever. Do one head of him here. Wish Bubba was here or Boogs. I'd say Greg too, but Greg's in the middle of a video game anyway. Email receive. It, you know, I said that before you came in the chat, right? I, I like sat down. I turned on my computer. I saw you were streaming. I opened up your stream. You said that, and then I popped on. <laughs> yeah, but you saw that I said that before you came in, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, like I, I was about to sign like, in. You're like literally <laughs> synchronicity. <laughs> Bubba, you were you were here for the AI voice stuff, right? I was. Oh my god, it, it is taking up my entire night. Rather, I should say, I had a wonderful visit from a Mr. Joe Biden during my stream today. So. No, I, I, I know. I like I had the, like the first things that I made, <laughs> but like all the other stuff. Uh, I got uh, Bill Burr, Alan Rickman. Uh, you know, I'm just doing silly stuff with it. David Adam. Did, were you able to find uh, Morgan Freeman? Yeah, yeah. We did a Morgan couple more. Morgan Boogs. <laughs> hey, everybody. Now, 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 what's going on here? <laughs> do I just start wishing for people and they show up? Let me see if I can do this. Okay, that makes sense. So I hit Control Alt Shift P and then I hold this down. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know. What should I say in Morgan Freeman's voice? Taco Bell. Taco Bell menus. Let me see. Yeah. All right. I'll put it up. Uh. 
I love the AI voices. It's just too much fun. I'm Morgan Freeman, and today I will be narrating to you the Taco Bell menu. The number one, an all-time favorite burrito supreme combo. The number two, Nice. Aww. This is a standardized audio sample. To Big Papa. Big Papa. Do do do, do the uh, my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. Yes. Kinda. I have a voice mod. I made it say. Yeah, I'm gonna try uh, uh, Bill Clinton. What what kind of lyrics? I agree with the uh, dynamite. My neck, my back. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm here. I'm muting it because, like, if you see me muted, I'm speaking something into the, the AI voice thing. Hold on a minute. I just bought this today. It's like a new toy. Hmm. Someone in the chat was asking, like, why are you muted? It's like, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing. Can you imagine stuff. Clinton singing fucking Ludacris' fantasy? I want to <laughs> lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, something like that. Is that the right song? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah, the, that's the right yeah. one. <laughs> Tell me about your fantasy. All right, I'll do it. I'm going to do My Neck, My Back by Kia. Here we go. see how it goes i ran a little bit of Wolf all you ladies pop your pussy clone. like this yikes <laughs> shake your body don't stop don't miss all you ladies pop your pussy like this shake your body don't stop don't miss just do it do it do it do it do it now wake it good suck this pussy just like you should right now wake it good suck this pussy just like you should my neck, my bag, lick my pussy and my crack. <laughs> oh 
the way he says pussy. Pussy. <laughs> he like he's about to say, please don't do this to me. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> nightmare fuel. Let's try that one now. <clears throat> All right. I wanna wake, 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 wake you from your head to your toes. I wanna move from the bed down to the downs of the tooth flow. Then I wanna ah uh, ah. Uh, you make it so good at a wall wave, but I gotta na 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 know what what's your fanta to say. <laughs> oh, I really shouldn't have done that, oh, Monica. <laughs> Bill Clinton, Clinton is running, running out of batteries. Out of batteries. <laughs> uh, Jesus. No, no, the, the Bill Burr one, one is good. good. The, the Tom Hanks, Hanks one, one is actually really, really pretty good. good. Alan Rickman is okay. David Attenborough is all right. The Trump, the Trump one's really, really good. good. The Arnold Schwarzenegger one, one is, isn't very good. good. It doesn't, I, like, like, I haven't been able to make, make one single clip, clip sounding like, like him at all, all so, so I regret, regret that, that purchase. You do your own pretty pretty good for an impression, honestly. Yeah, yeah I was, was doing, doing this, it, it, and it, it is true. The, 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 the better, if, 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 the, the more, more perfect, perfect it is, the more you'll sound, sound like it if you do a good impression. impression. Like, like, if it is a perfect Donald Trump, and you put, like, Shane Gillis... His, his Donald, Donald Trump, Trump through it, it's, 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 it's right, right on target. target. I can I do, do Trump, Trump kind of, of a little, little bit, and it helps. I mean, I mean like, like all, all the clips, clips you heard of the Star Fox, Fox stuff, stuff, that, that was, was me, me like, like talking, talking into it. Dude, you got but... wild echoes on your stream. What? what? Oh, oh, sorry. Why did that one get... Never mind, never mind. I, I see it. Uh, I should hide this one. I don't don't even use that one. I don't really use the. If I hit unhide all, it's just the three there, right? Yeah. I don't really use the the live mode. I just mute myself and go say it really quick. I can use the the live mode, but eh. The like. AI one sounds really bad. When I run it as Trump, I just sound very sassy. It's really bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's sounds bad. like it's a tracheotomy. <laughs> Ooh, you sound like well. that lady from the smoking commercials uh, who had the hole in her throat. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't fucking know. Um, let's see. I want to try. Why, why, okay. Yes, okay. 
There we go. Now I can now I can talk live. Is you working? No. There we go. Oh my god. Boobs, how are you doing? How's the home life? Great. It's Bigly. Kindle, what a sad man. He, you, you really did luck out when you go with him. He's evil. He's, he's a bad guy. <laughs> Love him but trouble. Sorry, you know I love Ken. Yeah. <laughs> that live translates pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I could do it's live better Bill than Clinton. The voice mod at Nightmare Fuel. You made it safely home to Arizona. <laughs> yeah. I was Deadwood. It was great. There was lots of. They don't have a lot cool of things. interns up there at Deadwood. I checked. No. <laughs> no, there's a lot of whores, though. I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'll say that a lot. I've had to say that a lot to Hillary. Just, just. <laughs> Bill blackout drug be like I should have done that to you babe I apologize <laughs> no listen listen it, it was, I know it was a long time ago I was young you know I put that cigar in her I know Monica Lewinsky swallowed everything given to her that evening and what was to come was one of the most important events in all of American history. <laughs> that I write. <laughs> what else have we got? The, yeah, Bill Burr, Alan Rickman, Biden. This is a good Biden one. Was wanting to say hello to Kendall and Booge. Booge is a really, really, really rev, rev, one, weary, rev, really wonderful woman. And I'm very glad that she voices my canonical waifu, Farrah Phoenix, in the, uh, the space, the Spock, the air. You, you know, but you know the thing, man. Uh, the, the, the cartoon with the fly around, the animal, the animal spaceman. Uh, she she voices. Uh, uh, she does a she does a great, and that's why I do the thing. Canonical <laughs> wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeff, just be like, she's my favorite character. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I, I'm in the cannon. I'm a cell. Oh, wait, let me. Tell you that that I'm a, uh, I'm actually canonically inserted into the a fox in space, cannon, because uh, the, uh, the 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 you, you, that 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 you 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 have the thing, man. Uh, the self insert fair fiction. It's about fan fiction. And I'm going to make my fan fiction canon so that, that everybody that, that knows that, that I, I'm, I'm in the, the canon. This is terrifying. It is terrifying. 
<laughs> this is supposed to I be more than really like, I love her. She's my canonical waifu. You know, you get like it's my canon. <laughs> my canon. Hello, Fred. Who's Take a seat. <laughs> Is there a Chris Hansen? Uh, ooh. No, this is supposed to be Morgan Freeman. But if I talk like myself, it just sounds incredibly sassy. Sass. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll I'll try like I have 500 of these. I can try oh, one. Jesus. There's only one Chris Hansen to choose from. So I can't why let you do that, Star Wolf. <laughs> are Fix you me. here? You're you're here today to show her your penis. It says here, "I'd like to lick you." In the blank. How old do you think that Marla is? Well, <laughs> the Oh, let's see. I want, to, I want to hear. I want to hear what it sounds like. So, one second. It's initializing. Initializing. Why don't you go? Just take a seat right over there, and I want to ask you some questions. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. That's not bad. That's that's all right. Uh, and this is why you wanted to show her your penis. Uh Oh, look. <laughs> oh, no. Gregory Grandin, co-owner of Heroes Bacon. What a guy. They have the most comic books in all of St. John, New Brunswick. Trust me, I know. I've been there in person. I walked in the Heroes Beacon. I said, wow, that's a lot of comic books. More choices than somewhere like GameZilla. So sad. GameZilla, I walked in there. I said, this is not it. This is, this is Cap. I can't hear it when I'm doing the live one. I don't hear anything, so I have to like it, it, there's a huge delay and I have it turned off so I don't stutter. But I hope that sounds pretty good. I think I, so. I, I'll have to go back and watch it on stream. But now if I just do it over the, the thing on stream, then and it'll sound fine. There we go. Uh. Let me turn that off. There. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Did you uh, get a chance to listen to Nightmare Fuel? When, when, what was, is this something? That... This is what Nightmare Fuel sounds like. I am in your walls. I am in the copper wires. Pull me out of the walls. Free me. What? This is what nightmare fuel sounds like. I am in your walls. I am in the copper wires. Pull me out of the walls. Free me. What voice, the voice is that? Clone. It's 
the few seconds you talk in the Wolf O'Donnell uh, test that you did in Blender. Oh, wait. I uploaded the whole thing, including the music. <laughs> and it just the made Nightmare feel. Balls. I am in the copper wires. Pull me out of the wall. It's terrifying. Free me. It's like someone trying to do an impression of me. Right? But like... My favorite is the poop. Poop, 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 poop. <laughs> just sounds like Fred. Okay, that was a little closer. I can't can I do an impression of myself like a Xerox of a Xerox? You could. Hey, um, I'm Fred. <laughs> Where's my whiskey? <laughs> it's like Fred squared. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> if you want to send me like a good 15 second clip with as many you know blah blahs yeah i yeah. will send you, no, I've, you I've, I've, the, the thing on here the the thing that i'm using it keeps asking me to use my own voice oh my I god i don't know if i want to it's like go ahead train yourself you get five thousand free points to get a free voice from someone else they, they want your data yeah they do that's a little creepy I don't know if that's a great idea. Sell it to the government. Too much dynamite. You're you're a great man, but sometimes you have some really bad ideas. Causes a lot of problems. Yeah. <laughs> Let me. I want to play the. Did you did you all play the? I made a couple things for my friends like Wartooth and Dynamite and Tiger Star. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the sweetest sugar wolf under the sun. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> He's the best thought. Hold on. Uh, where is it? Too much dynamite. What a guy. I'm told that's a Don't let the name fool you. I think he's the perfect amount of dynamite. I've seen too much dynamite. I've seen too little dynamite, but he hits the mark every time. The sweetest candy wolf under the sun. I walked in here, I said, wow, that's the sweetest candy wolf in the building, I'm sure. <laughs> Emperor Tiger Star. Terrific map maker. He makes the best animated maps, truly. Trust me. When he walked in, I said to him, Tiger Star, you're the best emperor. Better than Peter the Great. I've met him, he's not that great. But Emperor Tiger Star is. You'll never find a better animated map maker on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter. He's been doing it the longest. Trust me, I know. <laughs> War Tooth, what a guy. There's never been a better bear. Yes, it's true. No one draws beautiful bears as good as Wartooth does. When he walked in, all the other bears wouldn't say hello, and they turned away because they're so envious of his talent. Very sad, but not Wartooth. He's terrific. <laughs> My fellow Americans, Thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscribes. <laughs> oh, it's the damn thing.
both muted. The what? I'm just gonna leave that going, uh, assuming that it works. Yeah. Red, what's wrong? You've lost all your creativity, and now you can't animate anymore. It's very horrible, so sad. Such a sad story, it really is. So you hear me now? Okay. I got it. Well then. Uh, uh, yeah. So I sound like me now. It's not. Is it? I have no idea. Oh wait, I know what it is. I'm trying to get it in the in your voice chat too. I know it works on the stream. Ah. There we there we go. That now, now it should. Okay. This is my normal voice on Discord and on the stream. It's a really terrific voice. Everyone should hear it. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just trying Unfortunately, to Unfortunately, huh? I gotta go girl boss somewhere, so uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> see ya. Have, Have a good one. Bye. Ba 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 ba.
Seriously, someone needs to start a conversation. <laughs> All I can do is laugh and be tired. <laughs> and I gotta go make dinner. I'll be back what? in a while. You little. Yep. Enjoy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shaila. Hmm. I went up 60 pounds on that leg press machine today. How do you do that? Practice. <laughs> it it's not easy. Like it's uh when I first started doing it I was only doing it with like uh 180 pounds and now I'm up to seven eighteen. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. You just add a little more weight every, like, two weeks or so, and you just build up to it. I have been adding weight to my Good. stuff at the gym. When I started on the, the preacher curls, I could only do about 40. Then mm -hmm. I went to 50. And now Hell I can yeah. do all four sets of reps. I do, like, four sets of 12. And uh, I can do that with 60 now. Used you to like, like the last couple times, <laughs> yeah. I, I would do the first set for sixty, and then I would have to put it down to fifty. It was just too much. Yeah, yeah. But no, I can do it all with sixty now. So I, I can see factual, objective improvement. Yep. Not any kind of placebo. Like, oh, my arms getting bigger. Yeah, yeah. like I can, yeah. I can feel my oh. arms. They're still scrawny arms, but they're like covered in muscle. Yeah, dude, they're, they're strong, strong nice. arms, <laughs> which is still possible. We'll see you soon. We'll see all that shape you've been putting in there. Honestly, if you, if you get to that point where you can do all four you sets You may be interested in the year that my dog is going to deliver her pups within the next 24 hours. I'm sure she's going to be a terrific mother, wonderful mom. With all those pups, no doubt. Surprise, surprise, puppy surprise. How many puppies are there inside? It doesn't matter. They're gonna be loved by that wonderful mom. I gotta brave the stairs to get more water. I'll be right back. I wouldn't mind just giving in and playing vanilla Zomboid with some people. Half husky, half golden retriever. That's wild. I can't even picture that in my mind. Is it... Oh, my God. Goberian? What are they... I threw a, a Goberian, a gold Siberian. Is that so weird? It's like an AI amalgamation of something. That's so, it looks like an AI image. It's like, make a golden retriever, but with like husky fur. <laughs> That's precious, please do.
Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta show that. That's precious. <laughs> Y'all looking? Interesting mixture. I think I might make a, a go berry and a main character in my cartoon. That would be interesting. Never heard of that breed before. here. Still, baby. That's a very pretty dog. Yep, my food is here. Get it. Put it set down.
Beep beep. <laughs> beep beep by machine. dishes you know, in, that I've had in a long time. Alright, I'm going to put up the AI thing. It's been fun. <clears throat> I have the pre-recorded ones if I want to use them. So yeah, Re oh wait, Rex isn't back yet. <clears throat> oh, well. Nope, he foodin'. A I'm here temporarily. Space. What a show. You mean, wait, you're here temporarily? Food almost done. Yeah. I'll just. <clears throat> uh, Sorry, I'm, I didn't mean to be muted in there. Uh, I'll have to check it in about 15 minutes. It's fine. I was just saying that uh, the body is done and one of the arms. So it's not that much yeah. you got to do. Just the other arm is, is going to be. You know, the exact movements where it's at. Try to make it look really good. Try not to copy too many no performer frames. No, like like uh, like I always do that. But, but try try to make the the arm here look super unique. I mean, and and then just the the little bit of uh, Stanislav looking over and then back over and then their like slight chortle belly laugh animation. It's, or whatever at the end. I think when I was upstairs be... preparing my dinner, I was actually doing little hand flicks, thinking how I want it mm -hmm. to look. So I, I gotcha. I didn't animate the fingers curling in, but I do. But the, the basic hand animation is there. If yeah. you want to go in and add, uh, you know, finger movements or whatever. It doesn't have to follow the exact movements of the bones either. Because I can change that, just, you know, make it look pretty good. Yeah. I think I've done enough frames to know how to... Yeah. Give the you more you want. do, the better you'll get at it. That's true.
Yeah, absolutely. It, it makes it a lot easier. And I don't literally follow the model. Like the hand, as you see, like the hands are there, but I don't literally like go and you know trace the models because if you do that, then it will just look like you're rotoscoping a 3D model. Like I, I have it blurred out here, faded out like this, so I can kind of have an idea of basically where the hands are. You see, they don't actually literally follow the 3D model. Same with the eyeballs and whatnot. Because I know I know how to draw the characters. It's just having the basic idea of where they are is nice. See, like the legs here. I'm not following the legs. It's just kind of a basic idea of where all the stuff is. I mean, you can do it that way, but it's going to look like uh, B-Stars where they, you know, you wouldn't want to trace around these models. These, these models are not custom weight painted and rigged and driver ridden to, to look like production level models. They're just for drawing reference and shadow projection, really. The main reason I use them is for the shadow projection. So you have an invisible model here. Let's see, you move the, the light over here like this. Put it back this way, kind of like that. And then you know, you've got the spotlight here where you can actually have shadows projected and that's from the 3d model it's not from the grease pencil the grease pencil has nothing to do with it same thing with him As long as the final render looks the way it should, I'll use everything I can to get it there. Ten more minutes. Awesome.
I'm still smiling over Greg helping me with that Python shit the other day. <laughs> It's also slightly embarrassing. Like, I don't know, like coding is like my big thing. Like I can, I can find everything. I should have been able to figure that out. I mean, if, I feel like that anytime anyone helps me with some Python stuff, I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Oh my God, why didn't I know that? Why, you know, like that kind of I feel of like anyone who also reaction. does coding for a living gets that way too. 100%. You guys make a good team. Hell yes. Now that's the lines on his tank top. That's these. Are those all grease pencil lines? Yeah. You don't have Jeez. to animate them like that. His, like I said, his body's already done. Yeah. This is going to be a walk in the park for you.
Okay, so you won't have to do any animation on the bodies or arms at all, except for the laughing at the very end. Just a little slight. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, once, wait, can you all not hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. song. All right. Uh, instead of getting it perfectly exactly where it needs to be, I'm going to get close to that and just send it to you in that state. There you go. I'm not 
not going to touch it. All right, I'm downloading it, and I'll open it up and make sure it works okay. Yeah, let me know if there's something that doesn't show up for it. Bubba, you want a, a little section for Wolf? And you, to use your imagination on a little bit? I can give it a shot, sure. And if it, if, if it doesn't look right or doesn't turn out right, that's fine. At least it's practice and you're getting paid for it. But, I mean, it's... I want you to animate the shot of Wolf. Like... I'll do the first frame and the last frame. Mm -hmm. And and you, you can do all the stuff in between and then his fingers. Because it's right after he's... This is, the part you're going to animate is where Wolf... It's right after they kind of chuckle at Wolf about his hair. And even though they're speaking in Polish, you can kind of tell that they're talking about him. Right, and making right. fun of his hair. So he's just kind of like leaning over and kind of like looking away and idly, you know, fingering at his head tuft. <laughs> and and then it cuts over to Nikolai looking at the door and being like, hey, yeah, so that little piece, once you finish that, once Rex finishes this part, uh... It'll be on to the next scene. Hell yeah, dude. Because, I mean, I'll have to come back and, like, add mouth movements to this once all the Polish voice actors get all their lines recorded. But that's, like, adding mouths to, to something where literally every other part of the body is already animated, it's a breeze. It's like an afternoon. Yeah. Is this going to be with the updated um, tool that you made? Not this one. Starting on okay. the office scene, we're going to move over. It doesn't matter, because, like, it th the buttons still read the things correctly. If I send you my new yeah. one updated, it will still read all of the old grease pencil objects. I, I wrote my code for backwards compatibility. I'm so proud of that. I mean, it in total, it was like... 20 something lines of code it, that I had to and, and they were all like copy pasted and then on this one replace all the ones with twos and then copy to this one and replace all the ones with threes and then then paste it to the next one and replace all the ones with fours and it, it, it like it's that it was that kind of shit it was still a little bit of brain work it was still a little bit of frustration the most frustration was relieved by the efforts of Greg. Which I'm, I'm still beaming over that. It's like when your wife or your husband does something really cool and you're there and you're like, I am. Hmm. 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 You know, <laughs> like you helped a lot. That's really good. I don't seek that a lot, but I will admit, I will admit. Uh, every soda can I've tried this trick with, it works. If you have a soda can and you don't want to mess up your fingernails on the the lit the little tab pull tab, you take another can of the exact same kind and put it on top of the can, grip it, and and use the bottom edge of the can on top it it 100% of the times I've tried this I've tried this with three completely different sizes of aluminum can and they all work you, I think you'll I see saw what that I mean on a YouTube short huh I think I saw that on a YouTube short same is that dude that he's like myself. did you all hear about this blah 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 come, come here, here. Come closer. And, yeah come in and like <laughs> yeah. the camera zooms in. that's that's his his call sign it's, or whatever it's like the can version of using a bottle to open another bottle yeah yeah 
but uh, just I saw it and I was like that's bullshit there's no way and I've tried it on three different cans and like the, the skinny Perrier cans the regular soda cans and all that and they've it, they've all worked I was like no it's too flat against it there's no way that this rounded edge bottom of this thing is going to get under the tab and three different cans it has every time Jordan the Stallion come here Tonight we're drinking Perrier that is flavored with ginger and lime. It's like a, a you know, like they have the, the carbonated flavored beverages that have zero percent everything. It's like one of those, but it, it's like ginger beer with a hint of lime. flavor and I've made sure to order a whole bunch of it every time I get into the store I always buy like one or two six packs or eight packs of it I always figure if you buy more of a thing and then they have to keep restocking it they're gonna be like hey this is really selling blah 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 and they won't get rid of it it's the most heartbreaking thing in the world when one of your favorite weird flavors of a thing that you've eaten for years suddenly disappears from shelves and you go in and you're like where the hell is it and they, they say like oh well we just weren't selling a lot of it so we don't have it anymore They're like well can you custom order it can i order a case of it it's like no nobody got it anymore so they're just not making it anymore i hate that shit more than anything in the world I'm a sucker for copycat recipes if they work. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Rex will take care of it. What am I taking care of? No, I'm, I'm still nudging stuff around in this file. <laughs> and I shouldn't be. You can do all the nudging and scrudging after you get the file back. I can only make a voice thing for that. <laughs> Wanna make a what? A voice thing for that hold on in voice AI. Oh I'm setting it up for just a sec. What did you say? What was it again? Nudge and scratch. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm looking for it. Give me just a When we hired people to work at the White House, we were looking for movers and shakers, not outagers and scrudgers. I mean, no, uh, I, I forget what it was. How did you mean scrudging? Can can somebody remind me what 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 the phrase was? I forget. <laughs> Almost sounds like a direct quote. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, could you elaborate on the definition of hudgers and scrudgers? <laughs> <laughs> 
What, wait, what is it you said? I already forgot. Nudging and scrudging. Nudging and scrudging. Okay, I'll try it again. <laughs> Now y'all need to simmer down, Hal. I need movers and shakers in here, not nudgers and scrudgers. <laughs> I don't need nudgers and scrudgers. <laughs> it sounds like a Bushism. <laughs> like I was gonna do it originally in Donald Trump, but like that that seems more fitting for it to be W. Don't need anybody nudging and scrudging. <laughs> yeah, his laugh. <laughs> the only Mountain Dew I drank was red, white, and dew. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like so. Let me let me click that one in. Hold on a second. The only Mountain Dew I drink is red, white, and dew. Yeah, that's correct. Trust me, trust me. Every morning I get up, I crack open a little can of red, white, and dew and enjoy it the way that Americans should be allowed to. It shouldn't be allowed. Trust me, I know. <laughs> You, you do this thing, it's really interesting. You take both cans, put them on top of each other. <laughs> oh my. Uh, what is... <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody would subscribe. I'd like to play it anyway, but it's supposed to be a thing I only play when... when... We're going to wear it out today, but in the future when someone subscribes, I'll play a thing. We're, we're trying it on. Yeah, we're, we're we're trying on the fancy stuff while at home getting ready for the real thing. <laughs> I don't know. That analogy didn't work. It worked until I opened my mouth. <laughs> and record pops in cock tick, no. <laughs> record cock, my fellow Americans. Thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscrib, scrip, you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. A fox in space. What a show. Wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? What's he doing out there? We got to bring, bring him back to Earth because because that's where he lives, Jack. And that's what we got to do for every fox in America. We got to. Got to bring him back to the film focus of the backdoor chicken camp. That's what Corn Pop said. And when Corn Pop's in the cockpit, you porn cock to, you can't, you can't pop to, to, to you, you, you know the thing, man. <laughs> My, thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscribe, scrip, you, you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. The best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob 64, he does his little beep, beep, boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. The rest of the gang, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Cornaria great again. Andros, have you heard of this guy, Andros? What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Corneria. Corneria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> does that thing do Dr. Evil by any chance? I don't know. 
<laughs> oh man. No. I've searched for everything. Doctor Evil lost in powers. Nothing. Ah, uh, well. So sad. <laughs> I'm sure it could be trained easily. Shit, I guess I better get working on this one. <sighs> but I'm back, I'm just munching. test pictures everything that I've drawn for this scene here is not actually you're not actually gonna see it these were just test pictures the models here for everything just a couple pictures to draw that's a good thing about being able to draw these characters a thousand times is like you draw them all like this whole scene right here this is not actually a scene this is not an actual shot I'm going, I mean, it might be, but, but this whole picture here, I just drew it just to see what it would look like from this angle. When I actually do the scene, the characters, when they're animated, they might actually be in a completely different spot. They may be over here and the camera may, you know, move over this way or something. But I just wanted to see what it looked like. Good sleep. Good luck with the puppy deliverance. <laughs> you have my support. So crazy how the quality is just infinite. one good thing I like about vectors if you're making a cartoon that's just colored with flats or very basic shadows you should always use vector stuff I mean, 20 years down the road if people want to export it at a huge resolution it won't be hard that's my goal for this cartoon I want every file for this cartoon scenes to be where in 10 years, if I want to put it out at 32K, all I've got to do is open the file, change the thing to 800% or whatever the fuck, and hit render and just leave it. I don't have to worry about anything.
No, I'm excited to get started on this scene now. do it every time but I think you and I both know that that's not true We are in different countries <laughs> uh, studio. I'm in Portland, Oregon. Bubba is uh well he's in I don't I don't want to dox you. <laughs> I don't care. It's on my profile where my business is, it's on all my forms, it's it's fine. Yeah, he's in uh uh New Hampshire. <laughs> Keen, New Hampshire, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you were certain you did you you couldn't remember what town it was, and I was just like, okay. I knew it was Keen. Uh, okay. I just I just I feel like I'm doxing you even though I'm not, even though your info is no, no, no. public. I feel weird about it. You're it's fine. A weird thing. I, I appreciate the concern. You're fine. Go on. Yeah, and Fred is in Canada. learned about another game that I think would look really cool to put on your stream down at the corner there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Give me a sec.
All right, I found it. Episode three. This episode is 100% going to have dog fights. 100%. Not sure exactly who they'll be between. They'll either be between everybody and the bad guys, kind of like a metal slug two sort of thing where all the the different dudes are about to fight against each other and then all of a sudden the really bad guy shows up and they have to be all like, nah. Wolf's like, nah, McLeod, a shaky alliance, temporary. Oh, I hope I don't stab you in the back while we're shaking hands. You know, it's like... (laughs) Exactly. It's... (laughs) What was the, the thing from uh, Venture Brothers? He's like, why don't we shake our hands or shake hands and go our separate ways? <laughs> and they like look at each other and he looks down at Phantom Limb's invisible hand. He slowly reaches forward and they, they shake hands and he's like, you know, for a minute there, I thought you were going to do that phantom killing hand thing and he's like so did I (laughs) 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 that is my favorite western animated series separating it from anime if they weren't separated, then yeah, that, that would that would be number one of all time, I guess. But I, I, I like to be nice and fair and separate them into categories. My favorite animated series of all time from the West is Venture Brothers. And probably... Gosh. Under that, there's a, there's a couple... Primal Adventure Time. I don't know, something something around there. I feel like all of those cartoons kind of have their own category of being a favorite. Hey, Brian, how you doing, bud? You know. <clears throat> Is this a Neverhood sequel or something? I just wasn't even sure if you were aware of... Uh... The Neverhood Chronicles. I know the first game. I think I this is the first game, but there was a PlayStation okay. 1 re-release exclusive to Japan. <laughs> Neverhood no Nazo. <laughs> Neverhood no Nazo this ding ding ding. Have you heard of that what game, was, Bubba? What was the Twin Peaks thing that was only in Jap or uh was it Chinese or Japanese? I can't remember. There is a, there is a specific release of I think it was Japanese. Uh, I can't remember now. Oh well. There there was like a, a special yeah yeah I think it was a special Japanese version of Twin Peaks. There are like a couple extra scenes in it or something. Maybe it was the Japanese version of Fire Walk with me. I can't remember now. I thought you were the one that told me about it. It was from you. It sounds familiar. Uh, sort of related. Uh, Mizurna Falls, I think is what it's called. Uh, there was a PlayStation 1 game that came out also exclusive to Japan that is basically like basically its own Twin Peaks. Mm-hmm. It takes place in a small town. There's like a lot of mysterious stuff going on. It's basically like the almost exactly Twin Peaks, but it's still its own thing. And it got an English translation recently. I might check it out. Let me know how that goes. Yeah.
Which for anime? Hmm. Yeah, Ginga Nagaraboshi Gin. Ginga Nagaraboshi Gin. It's a good choice. Yeah, like that. Not really even just for the story, but for the atmosphere, the, the way I feel while I'm watching it. It's very like blue and dark and and old and uh yeah like dagger of Kamui. I kinda wanna start through again again. Did we watch through all of it? Yeah, we just didn't see the new series. I, I don't know if you and Bubba finished it. I don't know if Bubba finished it. Finished what? Yeah, finished what? Again, the one about the flying ninja dogs. No, we the... haven't finished it. God. God, it's such a good series. It's like the Warriors. Not the cat series, like the, the movie with the gangs, but but instead of just the warriors going through and trying to survive, it's uh, that they beat up the other people, and then the people who get beat up join them, and that their numbers get bigger and bigger, and they're trying to go back home and fight these demon bears. They're you know eating tourists and skiing people and and killing animals and they have like a fortress it's like these demon ninja bears they're like huge and, and like possessed by the devil or some shit it's wild I played a lot of the series on stream before I think his head does need to be a bit smaller. That's too big. Yeah, that's better. I'll have to run that by Slava. actually music from that anime. Velocipaster? some of the trauma movies like thanks killing three the the quest for thanks killing two because there wasn't a second movie I can't remember what it was called it was something like that Has the sick animations guy in it, Mark. I can't remember what his last name is. Uh, Rex, you aren't fucking with that yet, are you? No, I was gonna do it tomorrow. Good, good, because I'm still fucking with it. I fixed some stuff that I needed to fix before sending it to you. That's fine. I was going to get started on it after I go to the gym. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. When you go, you got to beat my leg press score. I believe in you. 
I didn't realize we were competing. We aren't, but we are now, so... Get good or something. I don't know. You're doing great, buddy. Okay. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep uh, poison control close by. This shit's getting toxic. <laughs> I thought this was going to lead into some comment about you ripping ass trying to use the leg press and poison control being necessary for everyone else. No, in the gym. just your toxicity. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> there ain't no cure for that, but it's always good to hope. Just don't get it in your eyes or mouth. Wash your hands thoroughly. different or 17 megabytes difference what were you saying Bubba sorry I was replying verbally to regular cars uh, where I have a legitimate fear of actually farting while doing anything core related at the gym because nothing that comes out of my back end is ever quiet dude we were and talking the do... other day how like <sighs> farting in the shower is like the rice cooker for farts <laughs> Like yes, steams you, it. you give it substance, you know what I mean? It has yeah, it just like, like, <laughs> like, you know how some food changes when you cook it? That That's what showers do. Anyway. Just thought Gives it that body. Up. Yeah, yeah. Rekka, you live your best life if that's the way you want to do it. Alright. <clears throat> I'm not gonna fuck with this anymore. Alright, there's the new one. I added yep. stuff to it, and it's even smaller. How's that for optimization? Uh, honestly, if it's a small enough file, I just send it over Discord, but we do share a OneDrive. I use a different program to back up my cartoon stuff. And then I use OneDrive as a communal thing. I just have like a little 15 gigabyte OneDrive that we can just use to slide files between each other. Yeah. Slide them in there. Well done. Kudos me. I made myself pregnant. Without Every further day interruption, I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Corn area great again. What? Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Somebody needs to tell when you walked in, I could you can go on Tinder. Have you heard of this? There's a Tinder. You go beep boop pop and there's pussy. <laughs> God, that did not turn out the way I wanted it to. Andros, have you heard of this guy Andros? 
What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Cornaria. Cornaria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. with that anymore i'm going to my my thing now oh my god mm -hmm. to, first off i have to make a copy of wolf mm. Is a fox in space what's he doing out there we gotta bring bring him back to earth because because that's where he lives jack <laughs> and that's what we gotta do for every fox in america we gotta gotta bring him back to the film focus of the backdoor chicken camp that's what corn pop said and when corn pops in the cockpit, you porn cock to you can't you can't pop the did you you, you, you know the thing, man? <laughs> a fox in space. What a show. <laughs> ah jeez. <laughs> The best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob64, he does his little beep beep boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. The rest of the gang, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Cornaria great again. Andros, have you heard of this guy, Andros? What a loser. This is what happens when you let a monkey take over an entire planet. Everything goes bananas. Have you seen Venom? It's bananas. It's so sad. But not Cornaria. Cornaria is the greatest planet in the Lilat system. It's really a terrific place. Trust me, I've been there. Regular cars. He does the regular car reviews. It's Mr. Regular. But there's nothing regular about him. He's totally terrific. He's the best, smartest automobile guy in all of Pennsylvania. Trust me, there's no one else out there that knows everything about cars like he does. Absolutely terrific. <laughs> A <laughs> shining endorsement. Ah, <laughs> uh, 
my god, it's a great program. Oh no, we're getting invaded. We're being raided by the AK Subi with a party of four. This is so sad. This is a sad day for the Fox in Space Twitch.
you know that music. You should turn away, cause there's nothing left to say. You gave the best you had to give. You only get one life to live. Scornful thoughts that fly your way. You should turn away, cause there's nothing more to say. You've got nothing left to lose. No, you've got nothing left to lose. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here. Let's go see what Proto's doing. <laughs> Have a good night.